Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit experimental once again. So I have my jar, vase, thing, not quite sure, it might be a vase, could be a candy bowl, I don't know, gotta have a and Goodwill for like 50 cents, so here it is. The idea today is to do a pour over it, but I want to mask off one of the sides and cut out maybe even two of the sides and cut out a design to leave on it. And then I'm going to use, this is from Frog Tape, but it's a liquid paint block around it to try to help prevent paint from getting underneath that tape. Then after we do the pour, I want to come back and remove that design to reveal something. So maybe if I do a candle inside, have a nice little light silhouette coming out. So let me... Let me start by cleaning off this vase. So all I'm going to do is wipe it down with some isopropyl alcohol. Get that nice and clean. Oh, and for the second experiment. So I had one of those little squeezy kitchen utensils for like lime and everything. You put it in there, you squeeze it, the juice comes out. It broke. Like completely snapped off. But I was looking at the side with all the little holes and I thought, what if I did just a paint pour through it on top of this little base. Add the colors one by one through those little holes and let it kind of dribble out. <laughs> See what crazy mess we can make with that. Cleaned up, I have the vase set. I put the tape down already. So next is coming up with an idea for what I want to be a silhouette. And then draw it on here and then everything else is gonna be removed except for the design. You know what, I've been feeling sea turtles lately. Let's get started. So I'm thinking, this is the shape is a lot wider up here, maybe bringing it this way, and I have this, oh, I'm going to add a baby sea turtle with it. So, trying to keep this in frame, make sure you guys have enough light. Mm, here we go. Once that's fully dry, then we'll be back to do our paint pour on top. Let me get this cut out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my little silhouettes cut out. So they're on there. Let me apply this liquid paint block real quick. So all I'm doing is dabbing it on. I'm going to put this aside, so in the meantime, I can grab some colors to go with. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, so now I have sea turtles in mind. So let me grab some colors and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. 
So, grab my colors. I have this little squeegee thing. I, I should look up the name of this. I have no idea what they were called, but this half <laughs> with the holes. So, I have that set. That's all set. It's been wiped down with running alcohol. Sorry about the noise. Everywhere. Cars. <laughs> my dog. Motorcycles. It's kind of a busy evening time. Alright, so. Colors I'm going with. They're all Sherman Williams except for... Let me separate it this way. Alright, so. To start off, I have my white pearlescent pearl mixture. I have my Cubby Shift. This one is still in the bottle, but it is um, one part Cubby Shift, one part Floatron. Nothing else added. This is the Color Shift um, Black Flash. This was Aqua. So those three are not Sherman Williams colors. Starting from here, this is Tricorn Black. Peacock Teal, Leafy Green, Calypso, Center Stage, and Hazel. Actually, let me double check that this is dry. Yep. All good. All dry. Afterwards, when it is fully dry, I'm going to come back with an X-Acto knife and still just trace around it, make it a little bit easier to remove. So I get a nice, crisp, clean line when I peel off the tape. Alright, so let's throw in some black first. There's this little divot, so it's going to probably collect a little bit of paint at first, so I want it to kind of eventually overflow.
look. You can see. Not much going on that side. That comes between to this side. Those teals, that green, you know. Green's not everyone's favorite color, but. so you guys have something to watch and then we'll come back tomorrow when this is dry and go from there all right i'll see you guys then take care